Have you ever had a bad fallout with a girlfriend or a group of girlfriends? Definitely. Um, the next question is, are you an AP dating? Do you know what I really hate? But y'all not listening to that conversation. Just felt like so sad. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's Peyton, and today I'm back with another video. As y'all have read by the title today, I'm coming back with a very highly requested video. This is a video that recently got a million views on my channel, so I'm like, hold up. And I feel like a lot of y'all have been asking me, like, eat some burrito, eat some burrito. So y'all already guessed it. Today's video is sponsored by Daily High Club. I'm gonna have all the information in the description box below. I'm gonna do a little unboxing uh, midway through the video, but first I'm going going to roll up i did just go to the dispensary and i got some mm. i got some mm -mm, okay we rolling up gravel leaves today using my roller don't talk about me y'all always ask where i get my roller from my roller is from amazon i'll probably link it down below for y'all but yeah so let's go ahead and get started with this video before i hop right in please make sure y'all hit that like button and make sure y'all comment down below okay if y'all fucking with this video don't even wait to the end just comment right now if you fuck with me and you love me and you a real payback or you new to this channel and you love me already comment what are you waiting for and also too don't forget to get y'all weed out roll y'all blunts up get the bong get the vape get the anything we're about to eat these mother burrito tacos and i'm praying that they're good because usually i go to burrito Pireria san marcos i will also leave that in the description box below because i don't remember the name off the top of my head but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with the rolling up and i am going to be reading some questions that y'all sent me on the communities tab and also on my instagram story so if y'all are like how do i send a question next time or how do i have to do that follow me on instagram okay and always check the communities tab i use the communities tab so often um but i realize a lot of y'all don't know about it so that's why i kind of want to mention that today y'all we are smoking on girl scout cookies Sadly, I only got an eighth, but it's okay. We're gonna put the whole eighth inside. No, we're not gonna do that. Let me stop. It's fucking one in the morning right now. I'm dedicated. I really am. I think I'm dedicated because who do y'all know that's filming at this time of the night, right? If y'all put a question and I didn't answer it, it's probably because it's something that I already answered in my last one. So if you really fucking with me, make sure you go binge watch. Eat your vegetables. Eat your vegetables damn bro like all my weed is already gone dog <laughs> we don't care let me tell you let me tell you <laughs> what going what hey is it me or does top boy just make you want to just call everybody bruv no bruv 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 yo bruv i don't give a fuck bruv <laughs> i don't give a fuck bruv yeah i'm top boy me I'm top dog. Oh wait, no. Top dog. The wrong show. Um, but click subscribe, bruv. Okay, we are past the first step. Get that thing in there. Y'all see that? And this is how much weed I have left. This is sickening. I probably put two grams in this blunt just now. And that's how y'all know I really vibe with y'all because... Oh my god, my neck hurts. Every time I pull this out, it just scares me a little bit. I don't know, like, roller tutorial coming soon. Y'all be like, oh, Peyton, teach us how to roll, teach us how to roll, bitch. I don't know how to roll. When people see me pull out my roller, like, what are you even saying? Do you have to cut it into a square, if y'all don't know? You know, I'm kind of an expert at this. This is somewhat rectangular. We're almost there, y'all. We're almost there. Okay. Roll, roll, roll your blunt in the Juicy J roller. Then you put your grab a leaf and roll that motherfucker too. Today, I actually had my first physical in like two years. Oh. Don't cover me, don't cover me, don't cover me. And while I was talking to my doctor or whatever, and she gonna tell me I need to stop smoking weed. <laughs> I just nodded my head. I was just like, yeah, no, you right, girl, you right. But she's like, oh, when you get older, you know, you gotta stop smoking weed. <laughs> I'm like, 
why though? It's research that shows your lungs and I already know that. Okay, I called bronchitis twice already. I already know the damage that I'm doing, you know? She's talking about, you think you can wean off of them a little? No, I can't. And she told me I gotta stop smoking hookah too. Apparently hookah has nicotine and you're not even supposed to be fucking smoking hookah because hookah and nicotine while you're on birth control has some type of fucking scientific reaction. I don't fucking know, okay? I was a psych major in college i don't know about all that actually i'm lying but stopping smoking weed i don't know i'm gonna have to think about that but shout out to her though please, please. Floor it. <clears throat> oh yeah look at that and to all the niggas bitch ass. and to all the niggas that was talking shit that last time that was like what the fuck is that what the fuck is that go watch my old video and compare y'all see my growth but okay y'all the blunt is rolled Let's start off with this unboxing and then we can get into the questions and get into the food. I'm honestly looking forward to the food. Like, bitch, why are you talking so much? You could be eating already. Okay, so today is a box from Daily High Club. Is featuring their spray paint box. It's their fresh soak and smoke handmade i actually really do fuck with this box like this is super cute so let's go ahead and start off with the bong itself oh my god isn't this so cool so this bong is basically a little spray bottle that says fresh it has the little blue colored bowl i feel like this is different because most of the bowls that they send with their bongs are clear i think i put my mouth here so yeah you put your mouth here and you light it here it, this is so cool y'all they be sending the cutest little bongs they also sent a dab rig for the bong i don't do dabs um somebody's probably gonna ask me that i don't do them they sent me some quartz clean ethanol alcohol so this is just some cleaner sanitizer for like glass i'm gonna try this out they sent some 420 wipes um they sent a lot actually i'm assuming this is just wipes that cleans up like bong residue weed residue stuff like that it says clean your dab tools glass pipes vaporizer parts and clean everything basically you can clean everything with these pads keeping these on deck the fuck then a nice little air freshener royal pine bristle cleaners oh my gosh this is a good box this is a good box you use these bristle cleaners to clean like glass and stuff like that i like this okay definitely gonna be using these juicy orange j papers this cute little lighter that's blue i feel like it kind of goes with the same vibe as the spray bottle and last but not least they sent this really cute little sticker that matches the logo on this month's box i personally think this is one of the best boxes honestly like they sent some really cool things some really useful things like sometimes i get these boxes and i'm like eh, i don't know what i'm gonna do with all this stuff but this box it's giving i'm going to use majority of the stuff in here so yeah shout out to daily high club make sure y'all click the link in the description box below and go purchase y'all's today and make sure y'all click my name when it says how did you hear about us okay don't just check out click my name okay y'all so we gonna get into these motherfucking questions i'm gonna start sparking up right now i'm probably gonna answer like half the questions and then we gonna get the food um boom and doom it and i know y'all probably like bitch we want to see you eat right motherfucking now well okay you'll have to wait ho <laughs> All good things take time. Okay. <clears throat> get your blunt, get your cart, get your, I don't even fucking know. My brain is just, just a little slower than usual. The first question is, we would like to know who you think the worst zodiac sign is. I, are, I always answer this question. I hate Geminis. Specifically Gemini men, the girls are all right. Girls are all right. But then the Gemini niggas, yeah, y'all could kick rocks. Okay? Scram. Skedaddle. Get the hell out of here. Skedaddle. Get the fuck out of here. But you know what? A new a new sign that's added to my shit list. Pisces. Gotta hate them. Gotta hate a Pisces. Girl, guy. It doesn't matter. Who likes them? Mm -mm. Not me. Okay, this guy typed in all caps. I love this. First of all, how you doing? That's how I read these. First of all, hi. How you doing, beautiful? I'm doing great. Hope all is well in life. He's yelling at me right now. The questions that I want to ask you is, what happened between you and Von Von? Nothing. What makes you think something happened? Also, okay, let me stop. When are you going to go out of town? I'm actually going out of town in one day. We're going to Costa Rica. And if everything is right, uh, if timing is right and posting is right, this video is probably going to be up by the time I'm already in Costa Rica. So, would you collab with Francis again? I definitely would, but 
she just recently moved but you said that we were so wholesome it made me laugh so much thank you why me <coughs> my question is what is the first thing that you look for in people either friends or men that is actually a really good question. I say for friends, I look for people who are like dependable. I, mean, I know myself, like I know I'm a late person, so I don't really like being friends with late people. I have late friends and I have like friends who really be up and on time and like on it, right? I prefer my friends that wake up earlier because they're the opposite of me. Like they'll, they'll motivate me to wake up earlier. Not to say I'm not gonna be friends with somebody that is late or like wakes up late or does shit late, but I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my head. I like people who are like not messy, you know, like people that don't talk about their friends to me. Now in LA, that's something that happens a lot. So it's not to say, oh, I won't be friends with somebody that's like that, but I'll know like that's just somebody you can't trust with your business and your information. And that's another thing with me, like I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, I'm just not gonna be cool with you. Like I could keep it cordial with people and not necessarily be friends with them. But when I say what I look for, that I'm specifically talking about like my close friends, like my close knit circle, like people that I really, trust i like people that like to go out i like people who are like you know um social media savvy like people that like social media as much as i do because not everybody likes social media like that not everybody likes to be around people that is always on their phone or always has to take pictures of shit and always has to be filming and shit like that like not everybody likes that but it's not to say i don't have friends that don't like it but it's like you know those are the people that i'm more around and shit like that people that smoke people that drink i don't find myself being friends with people that don't do at least one you know like if you don't smoke and you don't drink it's just gonna be like, hmm, what are we gonna do together? <laughs> because what, what do we have in common? Like, and you don't like going out. So it's just like, ah, shit. Like, people that like to travel, I feel like you have different friends for different things. I think I'm that type of person because there are certain people that I'll like hang out with or go to the club with that don't necessarily know every single thing about me. And then there's people that I have in my closeness circle that don't like going out at all, but like that's somebody I know, like I can always call up and talk to if I really need to invent to because that's somebody I really trust. So yeah, like I said, like just having different friends for different things. Like, and if I'm talking about what I look for in men, I like to go for guys who are once again, not messy in LA, that's a big one. A lot of niggas are messy. like. Niggas talk more than bitches these days. Men who are not whores. If a nigga fuck too many girls that I know of, which is something that's very common in LA. Everybody be fucking everybody. I just cannot do it. I hate a whole ass nigga. Like I hate community dick. Like once I find out that you like fucked with more than like two, three people I know, I just cannot do it because nine times out of 10, I'm not fucking with a nigga if I know like, if I know that he knows too many people I've dealt with or not even had sex with, but talked to or anything like that. Like, I'm just not gonna do it because I don't wanna be up in niggas. I don't want niggas to be able to talk about me. Like, advice for burnout. Recently, I've been feeling that, like, I've been feeling burnt out because I just overwork myself a lot of times and also too, I sleep at the worst times possible. So I don't really be getting good sleep. You just gotta take a break, just chill out. Don't do no work, don't do nothing. Just relax, watch some Netflix, watch some TV, go for a walk. Like self care is how I combat a burnout. Doing something that makes you feel good, like going to the spa or getting a massage. For me, it's getting cute, doing a face mask, getting cute, going out for like, you know, dinner and drinks, talking to my friends, you know, just chill shit where it's like no pressure, no stressors. You're giving yourself that time to like relax and really just think. So the blood is like halfway out, but y'all, I need to warm up these tacos because... Okay, wait, hold on. Do you feel like you are where you're meant to be in life or do you want more? And how are you meant to be? So the first question, I don't feel like I am where I need to be in life. Like I feel like there's so much more room for me to grow like mentally, physically, emotionally, like in every way like i feel like i can definitely do better and be better in the future and i know i will i know i'm gonna grow the person i am today is not anywhere close to the person i was like two three years ago or even four or five years ago like i'm so different now mentally and i love that for myself and i feel like as i get older it's only gonna get i'm only gonna get more wise and grow into like the greater character traits that i have if that makes sense <coughs> The second question was, how are you mentally? And honestly, truly, I would say in like the past like month or two, I kind of been a little shaky with my mental health. I think I've been getting into the habit of doing like a lot of like things that's toxic for my overall like mental health. I do struggle with like ADHD and anxiety. And I feel like sometimes I'll be getting like little, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm depressed, but like, you know, if you ever, you just have those days, like, you know, you ever just have your days like where it's just like, you just be randomly getting sad for no reason. 
and i feel like that's kind of how it was kind of in the past like month or two but i think now recently i've been doing like a lot better mentally um, i've been writing more and i've been like venting and like letting out my feelings more because i feel like sometimes like i get st stuck in or like caught in the habit of like holding things in and keeping things bottled in but like sometimes you have to let that shit out and like tell people that you're not good or you're not okay or like you're feeling down or you're feeling sad because shit and once i finally opened up it's like damn like i'm not alone i'm not the only person like we all feeling like shit because you might be thinking you're going through some shit and you'll never know like oh your friends or like people around you is going through some shit until you ask or like until you talk about it because a lot of times it's just like oh you know if no one's talking to you about it you feel like it's not going on but that's not really true like some people just don't want to talk about it until you ask even until like now like i feel like this is not something that i'll be open enough about a lot like mental health is very important super important especially for me like I'm really big on mental health and I feel like, you know, I'm working towards a goal of getting better mentally. Diva. <coughs> All right, y'all, we are back. Got the birira, 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 birira. The place that I got these tacos from is called Tierra, Tierra, Tierra Caliente Beria and Tacos. It's just this taco truck. I will make sure I put the information in the description box below for you guys. But this is just a little burrito taco truck um, out in the valley. But anyway, I got four burrito queso tacos, um, which is just berilla and cheese. And then I got some consume as well, hot and ready. I'm just going to go ahead and take a bite already. Okay, no, that's hidden. It's hidden for sure. Aww. Wow. That is good. This is delicious, y'all. Oh my god. I hope y'all can taste it through the screen. Okay, so I really needed that first taco, but now we can really take our time and continue reading these questions. What's your zodiac sign and what's the best quality about you? I am a Sag and personally, I think the best quality about me is that I'm not afraid to be myself and I'm not afraid to like say something if it needs to be said or like get something off my chest if I have to. And I also think like another one of my best qualities, even though you didn't ask, I think I'm like very like, determined and motivated like for greatness if that makes sense what are some of your favorite memories of college and what are some things you wish you knew at 21 i have so many great memories of college like honestly i think i had such a great college experience i would definitely say one of my most memorable moments when i went to ucla a part of like the little black greek organization so they had like basically the divine nine which are the nine black greek organizations They used to have step shows i want to say quarterly the step shows used to be really lit like the greek nun uh step shows because it would basically just be like every single frat and sorority step dancing so me and my friends we went to one of the step shows and we all took hella edibles and i just remember like <laughs> we were all high as shit one of my homegirls was falling asleep another one of my homegirls was like everybody looks like dancing chickens i was zooted i was just sitting in there high as shit enjoying the show but i just loved it because we were all just so faded like we were all <laughs> i feel like we used to just get high all the time we'd all be high as shit going to late night eating good as fuck like a little group dinner those were like the best moments like our little group dinners and um going to the parties getting lit <laughs> and things that i wish i knew at 21 i think i would definitely say i wish i knew how to like love myself more i think i've looked i've learned to love myself a lot more now i don't know maybe it's a bad thing like sometimes i think it's a bad thing that i'm like more like hyper independent now or like just a lot more independent because um i feel like sometimes that can overwhelm a lot of people especially like in the dating life and dating world but i would definitely say i wish i knew to like be a little bit more independent like i am now but 
you know, some people might think that being independent is bad. I personally don't think that. At 21, I wish I was more like consistent with the things that I'm doing. Like, I feel like I wasn't as consistent. Do you see yourself getting married? I definitely see myself getting married. Not right now, but definitely when I'm older, maybe like in my 30s or like my late 20s, but I'm only 23. I feel like I'm pretty young and I'm too young to be tied down. But then sometimes I'd be feeling like a lover girl and I feel like I want a husband and I want to get married right now. And sometimes on the first link, I tell niggas that I love them. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really do that. <laughs> do crabs think fish are flying? That's some high shit right there. Initially, when I first read that, it didn't make sense. But now I understand what you're saying because crabs are on the sand and fish are above them floating. They probably do. But I feel like crabs can travel upwards. Crabs don't be floating because how do they get to the surface? Crabs be underwater. Crabs can crab and grab onto things with their claws, right? I don't know. That's a tough question. I think crabs know that fish are their buddies. Aww. Definitely. Did you ever feel lost after college? I definitely did. I kind of didn't really know what I wanted to do, which is why I started getting back into YouTube because at one point I was kind of like more focused in school, but I graduated when COVID had just happened. So I knew like online school was not for me. I knew that I could not go to grad school online. So I kind of just did what was the easiest thing for me to do, which was like YouTube, OnlyFans. I could do everything online. I don't have to go nowhere. You know, this is like I said, when it was quarantine. So I couldn't go nowhere. I was definitely not trying to get COVID when it first came out. So I know everybody doesn't have that option. And I feel like a lot of my friends too, who have graduated, so the same way like they don't know what they're doing they're kind of just doing what makes them happy and what makes them money and you know some people are just in that position give yourself time like don't put pressure on yourself you know because I felt that way even before I started getting like more consistent on on here sometimes even now I still be feeling lost like you know is this right for me and I feel like those thoughts are very normal I don't think you should like worry yourself out because you don't know what you're doing like everybody wants to take a path in life everybody wants to know what direction that they're going in and it's good that you're even aware and what advice can you give about self-love when it comes to your physical appearance if y'all haven't watched this video go watch my how to be a bad video but I feel like the biggest thing with confidence is just faking it till you make it because confidence is just one of those things that nobody knows that you have nobody knows that you have confidence except yourself like confidence is something that it's this energy that people give off you know like you can sense that somebody's insecure usually by how they carry themselves and also to like how they talk and how they talk about others being more positive with yourself not comparing yourself to other people following people that look like you girls or guys that look like you i feel like that's a big thing too because being on instagram and shit like that social media in general like you see people that don't look like you blowing up and getting all these likes and this and that so it makes it very easy for you to want to compare yourself to them but don't do that you know follow more people that look like you follow more people that do the same thing as you build your own community stop looking up to people that don't look like you compare yourself to people that don't look like you people that are not you know don't compare yourself just don't compare yourself what shows slash movies have you watched recently right now i'm watching top boy bruv i just recently finished ozark that's a fire show good girls that's a fire show Ooh, dead to me it's me reading off my netflix list for y'all right now you have you ever had a bad fallout with a girlfriend or a group of girlfriends definitely um I don't like getting into this stuff too much, but when I was in college, I would say, let me say this, like I used to do dumb stuff when I got drunk, like when I got too drunk. Even now, sometimes I do dumb stuff, but it's not, wasn't comparatively as stupid and dumb as when I was in college. And I feel like a lot of times I almost ruined friendships. Even recently, like I've fallen out with people. But the thing is, when I have fallouts with people, it don't be super big fallouts, you know, like it'd be fallouts, but I don't like to say like I'm in drama or I don't really like to be in drama, so there's that's just that what conspiracy theories do you believe in i really personally don't really like to believe in too many conspiracy theories i used to believe in so many when i was younger though but i think one conspiracy theory that i low-key believe in is that like certain artists out there aren't dead like sometimes i feel like tupac isn't dead like realistically it's like pain and come on like tupac's dead but then it's just like you know there's so many people y'all mainly rich people that like nobody knows about fake their deaths so i believe that a lot of people be faking their deaths because they have like a lot of enemies against them or a lot of people watching them and shit like that. So you fake your death, you move to another country where nobody knows who the hell you are and you start your life over, you start your life over and you're just living a complete different life. Like I personally, that's a conspiracy theory 
I don't think that's a conspiracy theory. That's how true I think that is. Are you more scared of space or the ocean? I think I'm scared of the ocean because one, there's so many things in the ocean that we don't know about. And two, I feel like, oh, <laughs> I'm dumb. I can't swim. How you forget that? Space, like, nobody really goes to space like that. Like, I feel like they've discovered a lot more of like the ocean and space, but who, I don't know. That might not be true. An artist that you listen to that may be unexpected to some people, um, Tame Impala. <laughs> a lot of people that know me all think like I only listen to like trap music or like rap music and stuff like that. But no, I be having my, I got my white people songs too, okay? I fucks with Tame Impala heavy. <laughs> Certain songs that I post, people are like, oh, you listen to this, you listen to that, like Playboy Cardi or like Tyler Creator. I don't know why that would be surprising to certain people, but, or maybe some people just be having a reason to want to swipe up, huh? Probably. I keep forgetting, like, let me hit this bomb for me. I don't want the tacos to get cold, cold. Mm. Do you prefer blunts or joints? Definitely prefer blunts. Do you struggle with anxiety or any other mental health illnesses like depression or PTSD? Um, I do struggle with anxiety and ADHD. If you're asking how I manage it, I feel like I don't. Definitely need to, and I definitely plan on it. Like I said, I do have like a therapy appointment this month. Like, yay to me. Moving on to the last set of questions. Ooh, this is a good one. What's the hardest lesson you learn from an old friendship? That is low-key really deep. It's always the same thing. Like, you just really can't trust certain people. There was this one person that I was friends with a while, a long, 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 long time ago. I feel like that specific friendship that I'm thinking about right now, that one taught me to really, like, mind your business. Like, sometimes it's good to mind your business. Like, sometimes you don't want to know everything. You might think you want to know everything, but sometimes it's just worth not knowing and minding your business. The next question is, are you an AP dating? No, we're not. Um, I feel like y'all always be asking this. Somebody asked how many real relationships have I been in? I really feel like zero for real. Like, and that might be sad to say, but I feel like the one relationship that I was in was just not real. Got you. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever ate? Y'all might call me weird for this. I used to really like to eat hot dogs and cinnamon applesauce. <laughs> Why do men lie? Since I've been trying to figure that out since I was born and my daddy was lying to me. What percentage of you likes girls? 60%. Oh, but then that means men is 40%. Low key, that's true though. Like I really be tired of niggas. Like let's, let's be real. Okay, I don't know how I ate all this food, but I did it. <laughs> the last question that I'm gonna answer is, would you ever collab with a like new YouTuber? Sometimes I feel like I get a good amount of people that ask me this question. It's not to say that I would not, but it's more so to say like, in general, I already feel kind of way about collabing with people that I don't know personally. Just in general, cause it's just like, I don't really do a lot of collabs on my channel. So, you know, and another thing is I don't want my channel to be just collabs, you know. I feel like I want to emphasize, like, me just being myself more on here versus me, like, doing more collabs, which is why I don't want to do too many hot boxes and too many, like, collabs and stuff like that. And most people that I have collabed with is people that I know personally, you know. I've only really ever collabed with one person that I did not already personally know which was Francis and that was our she was already really cool you know so I didn't have an issue with her I feel like it's nerve-wracking to say that I will collab with somebody that I don't know and also in on top of me not just not knowing them on top of them also being a small youtuber so it's not to say that I wouldn't but it's like I don't want anything to be forced on camera fake chemistry on camera and I feel like that's it's hard to like really get something genuine or get something that's entertaining if you don't really personally know somebody you know if I met somebody personally and then I found out they were a small youtuber and you know we got to know each other and stuff like that in that case I wouldn't mind but in terms of just meeting up with um small random youtubers online and stuff like that it's not to say like, oh, because I just don't want to. It's more so just like for my comfortability. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm not against it. If I meet somebody in person and, you know, we vibe out and stuff like that, definitely. Because I'm like, I feel like 
I've done that with people on my channel in general who don't really, who aren't that big, but like wanna make videos and stuff like that. Like I'm not judging if you're a small YouTuber or a big YouTuber. It's really more so about like just collabing with people that I don't know and just like random strangers and having to get to know people and stuff like that. Um, but I hope that doesn't come off in the wrong way in anyhow. <laughs> y'all, I'm high, but that was basically it for this video, y'all. Before we end things off, I want to go ahead and give this little spray bottle a hit in light of everything. That was it for this video, y'all. And now I bid y'all a farewell. Don't forget to give this video a big giant thumbs up. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know if y'all gonna get this subscription box. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.